So, um, so we covered everything in terms of the equipment, hard kind of equipment, but I, I want to deal go into um, the software that you'll need and maybe also talk about uh, some of your computer requirements because I know there, there are different types of files that you're going, and most of them, I guess, would be MP3 files for audio files. Uh, and uh, but just give me kind of a, 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 a or give everybody a glimpse in terms of the the the, the software and hardware re computer requirements that you would need for podcasts. So you definitely need some software to be able to uh, render your audio files. Uh, when I say render, that means be able to see your audio files to edit uh, any bloopers you may have had. If you want to insert music, you want to insert ads for revenue. Uh, if you want to take out just a bad conversation or even fix the quality of your show, uh, you definitely need software. The software I started out on was Audacity. Audacity is still around. It's free. Uh, it's super easy to learn. And there's such a great um, community out there and forums that kind of go over almost everything that you need to figure out with Audacity. It has a big red button on there that hits record. You can edit through Audacity. Uh, you can set up which microphones it's going to be played. You can add tracks to Audacity. Uh, and the file that you always edit in is a WAV file. That's the file. That's like a raw file almost. Or it's a, it's a large uncompressed file. The MP3 is a compressed file pretty much. But it also saves on room uh, in storing your files. You know, most of the time when you upload to hosting sites to host your podcast, uh, they require it to be in a pod, you know, not podcast, but in an MP3 format. Uh, Right now, I edit in Adobe, uh, Adobe Audition. Uh, they do charge a monthly subscription, uh, but I think once you get to the point where you really want to take your podcast into the next level, the investment in yourself and your brand is definitely worth it. So, computer hardware, what would you recommend? Is just a, your standard Apple, you, you know, your standard Mac, or your standard kind of uh, up to date? <laughs>